Okay, how much of a 40% acid solution should be mixed with a 60% acid solution to produce 10 gallons of a 45% acid solution? Okay, so the first step is to identify our variables. Let's at, let x equal, you know, the amount of the 45%, uh, I'm sorry, the amount of the 40% solution we need. Now notice we need 10 gallons, so this is the trick. You want to stick with one variable. Instead of letting y equal the amount of 60% solution, we're going to say 10 minus x, you know, whatever's left, is the amount of 60% solution. Okay, so that's how we could um, stick with one variable. Um, subtract off the total, and that's how much of the other solution we need. Okay, now 40% of the first uh, solution is actually acid. Okay, so when I set this up, I'm going to think of of as multiply. So 40% times x is the actual acid content in the first solution. Okay, now let's look at the acid content in the second solution. So the acid content in the other solution is 60%. So I'm going to write that as 0 0.60 times the amount, which we know is 10 minus x. Okay, now in the end, the acid content of the final solution should be 45%. So 0.45 times the amount at the end is going to be 10. Okay, so this here is our setup. The acid content in the first solution plus the acid content in the second solution is equal to um, the, the desired amount of acid content in the end, 45% of the 10 gallons. So now it's just a matter of solving this equation. Okay, so let's do it. 0.40x plus, here we have to distribute, okay, so 6 uh, minus 0.60x, 0 0.6 times 10 is 6, all right, equals 4.5, 0 0.45 times 10. Now we have sort of we have same side like terms here. Okay, so negative point two plus this whoops, excuse me. Negative point two x, right? That's point four minus point six plus the six um, equals four point five. Now let's go ahead and subtract six. Alright. Don't be afraid of this negative, okay? The math will take care of it. 0.2x equals negative uh, 1.5. Okay, so here I'm going to try to scroll a little bit. Looks like that works out pretty good. Um, certainly I can multiply both sides by 10 and avoid the, the decimals. But what I'm going to do here is just divide by negative 0.2, negative 0.2, and that gives me my answer here for x. x equals 7.5. Notice that's positive. A negative divided by a negative is positive. So the math sort of took care of itself. Now remember what x is. x is the amount of the 40% solution. Okay, so the good stuff here, the 60% solution, all we have to do is take 10 minus x. So 10 minus the 7.5, well, that's going to be equal to... Uh, 2.5. Okay, so we need to obtain, you know, to obtain a final 10 gallons at 45% acid content, we need we need uh, 7.5 gallons of the 40% solution, and we need. Um, 2.5 gallons of the 60% uh, solution. And that's a typical mixture problem.